Now, to all you moms that are with us today, I want to say that I understand some of what you've faced because I see what my wife Maureen goes through, what my sister Maureen goes through every day as they raise their kids. You've got to balance children with home, sports activities, work. It's a daily race against the clock. I think you need a governor who understands this and who looks for solutions to make your life easier. Do we really need so many permits and licenses and certificates and stickers and decal and registrations with each of them requiring you to go to some office and stand in line and pay a fee? I think every mom is a working mom and your time is precious. So when I become governor, I think what we need is a working mom government simplicity task force to advise the governor on how to cut bureaucracy. Now, working together, we have done a lot to cut down on crime in Virginia and protect victims' rights. Our communities are safer today. But I want to make Virginia the worst place in the country to deal drugs or to be involved in a gang. And we'll do that. And at the same time, I want to make Virginia the best place in America where we transition people out of prison and into productive lives so they can pursue their dreams and go on to create less victims in our society. I pledge as governor that I will help to bring the public and private sectors and the faith-based communities together to help improve the lives of Virginia citizens, as we did at the Attorney General's office with our support of Virginia's great food banks. I think we have to remember what our predecessors have said, and that is the measure of a good and decent and just society is how well we deal with those who are less fortunate in our communities. I will encourage private citizens and companies to renew our great spirit of generosity and altruism and compassion and care for one another, especially in this tough economic time.